What's up everyone? Welcome to a brand new movie review. Today I'm discussing The Spy Who Dumped Me. To be honest, I went in with pretty low expectations because I haven't seen a single trailer for this film. It's coming out in August, which is usually kind of where they start dumping stuff. But Mila Kunis is in it, Kate McKinnon is in it, and I kind of both enjoy them. And plus it's a spy comedy, but I thought I was going to get a rom-com out of here and it turns out it's not a rom-com at all. This is a full-on action comedy. Which surprised me, and surprising is really much the word I can say for this film, because I surprisingly really much enjoyed The Spy Who Dumped Me. Don't get me wrong, this is nothing like cinematic masterpiece, nothing in my top 10 for this year, but it's a pleasantly surprising film. I think this film has a lot of great humor to it. I caught myself laughing and chuckling quite a bit, and I actually laughed out loud a couple of times. A lot of that goes because of Mila Kunis and Kate McKinnon's chemistry. They are both fantastic in here. They both have fantastic chemistry, where you really do believe that they are best friends in real life. It even goes far to say, Kate McKinnon, sometimes I'm a little iffy on her. I do like some of her humor, and sometimes I don't. She didn't go overboard on this one. She almost got there, but didn't. She got the perfect amount of her. A lot of that comes from the direction from Susan Fogler, who might I say, please direct a Black Widow film. Like, or some sort of spy action film, because the action set pieces in here, I was like, when they was building up to one, I'm like, oh my god, it's gonna be pretty crappy. And no, they're really good, and they're brutal. I was wondering why this film was going to be rated R, and now I see why. It's because of the action sequences. They are hard R rated action sequences, and they fit within this film in a kind of funny but unique way. But really, the action sequences were such a huge and pleasantly good surprise. Again, I said surprise, because surprise is really how you can redefine this film. And the supporting cast was good in here. Justin Therox pops in here, and I did want a little bit more of him. I thought his role was good and serviceable, but I really like the guy as an actor, and I think he's a pretty good and funny guy. I wish he was just in the film for a bit more. Kind of goes to where I say with this film. Again, it's not a cinematic masterpiece at all, but I think it is a good time to watch at least one time in the theaters. I would recommend to go see it in the movies and enjoy it. It's horrible that the studio is not marketing this film better or even pushing out more trailers because I think this film was good. Again, comedy is very subjective. If you guys have been watching my channel for a long time or if you're new, the way I grade comedies is how much did it entertain me and how much did I laugh? Because if comedies can succeed on that, which is really the main purpose of them, then I'm going to really forgive a lot of my other nitpicks because I can easily tear apart the story. I can easily tear apart how convoluted the story can get and just get rid of all the predictability and whatnot, but it's comedy and it checks off my two things. I was entertained and I laughed quite a bit. Spy Who Dumped Me was a pleasantly good surprise. I'm glad I enjoyed it. I was kind of agonizing going into it because I was like, what am I going to get out of this? I'm either going to hate it or I'm going to really just think it's a guilty pleasure. Came out saying this is a good film. I enjoyed it. I laughed. I chuckled. I smiled. And I love the chemistry of our two main leads on the screen. They really did make me laugh out loud. There was a couple scenes where I was just sitting there chuckling to myself and my audience was laughing as well. And oh man, Susan Fogler did a fantastic job directing this film. Not not just from the acting standpoint, but seriously from those action scenes. They are awesome, and I just can't wait to see what the girl does next. Well, that said, I'm going to give The Spy Who Dumped Me a B-. Really much enjoyed this film, and I can't wait to hear you guys' thoughts down in the comments. Of course, if you guys are new here, make sure to hit up Sandwich on Films down below, because right down there, you guys can get into advanced movie screens, check out some movie news, and also some movie reviews. Of course, until next time, guys, stay classy. <laughs>